Hey everyone, welcome to this session on top 10 skills to become a data analyst. Before diving into our topic, let's quickly speak about the job role of a data analyst. In this 21st century, data analytics is used in every sector, be it in organizations where meaningful insights are drawn, pertaining to the growth of the company, or be it in fighting the ongoing pandemic COVID-19. Data finds its importance everywhere. Speaking of the role of a data analyst, he or she is a skilled professional who is responsible for collecting and processing data. They perform analysis on large data sets. They also deal with data handling, data modeling, and reporting. A data analyst understands the trends and insights that are revealed in massive data sets. So if you want to become a data analyst, then there are a few skills that you need to possess. Let's have a look at the top 10 skills that can help you back the position of a data analyst. Here, we will look into both technical and non-technical skills. At number 10, we have mathematics. Data analysts work with a lot of structured and unstructured data. In order to analyze and understand all the acquired data, a strong foundation in mathematics is essential. Most of the data analysts will use linear algebra, statistics, probability, and calculus for performing analysis and for the logical examination of data. Hypothesis testing, such as the null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis analysis, is another crucial task that data analysts perform to ensure that the data they have collected is relevant for analysis. They need to perform z-test, t-test, and chi-square test to make sure the sample data is good for analysis. Also, data analysts build machine learning models for solving business problems using classification, regression, and clustering algorithms. So to understand the working of these algorithms, knowledge of mathematics is compulsory. Moving to number 9, we have the big data tools and frameworks. Data analysts deal with complex and inaccurate data that is really huge in volume. Now to handle this data, they need to possess big data technology skills such as Hadoop and the tools that are part of its ecosystem. Hadoop provides the Hadoop distribution file system to store data in several chunks. Scoop is popularly used as a data ingestion tool for extracting data from HDFS onto relational databases. Data analysts use HBase, which is a column-oriented database for processing semi-structured data. There are other frameworks such as Apache Pig and Hive for processing and analyzing data using Pig Latin scripts and Hive query language. It would be an advantage for a data analyst to have an idea about these tools and frameworks. At number 8, we have data cleaning and data wrangling. In this modern era of internet and social media, data is being generated every second and often this data is noisy and messy, containing missing values. Data is also often unstructured and this could be a problem for data analysts to perform analysis on such data. So they need to pre-process the data and clean it using various tools and techniques to make it fit for analysis. Data analysts must transform the data into the right format for carrying out analytics. They should also have data manipulation and data mining skills to find out unseen trends and patterns from the data. Some of the tools they should have knowledge of are OpenRefine and Trifactor Wrangler. They need to have hands-on experience in certain numerical computation and data manipulation libraries such as NumPy, Pandas, Dplyr, SciPy, and TidyR. At number 7, we have BI tools for data visualization. In order to understand the complexities of business and derive the desired solution, data analysts should have an idea about business intelligence tools. Business intelligence is a process to analyze and visualize vast volumes of data. It helps in creating reports and dashboards to better understand the trends in data. BI tools help data analysts to sort and filter the data, perform data manipulation by joining multiple data sets, and build different charts and graphs to present the data in a pictorial format. 
It also helps them to forecast the data to make future predictions. The reports and dashboards created using BI tools can help data analysts convey their ideas to clients and stakeholders. Some of the popular BI tools used in analytics are Power BI, Tableau, ClickView, and SaaS BI. All these tools feature in the Gartner Magic Quadrant for 2020 for business intelligence and analytics. At number 6, we have Microsoft Excel and ETL tools. Every data analyst should possess a good working knowledge of Microsoft Excel. Excel is the most preferred tool for analytics that is commonly used by managers across the globe. Microsoft Excel has really good features to manipulate and analyze structured data that is in the form of rows and columns. It provides a lot of inbuilt numerical and text functions. You also have the advantage of creating pivot tables and pivot charts. Along with creating different charts and graphs for building a report, you can explore advanced features such as Excel macros. Good knowledge of data warehousing and ETL tools is important. Data analysts often gather data from several data sources. Then they manipulate and transform data using different techniques. And finally, they load the data to a data warehouse for easy access. Some of the popular ETL and data warehousing tools are Informatica and Talent. At number 5, we have programming languages. Data analysts should have excellent hands-on programming knowledge for solving complex business problems. They need to know programming languages such as Python, R, SAS, and Java. Python and R are the most widely used languages in the field of data analytics and machine learning. Both Python and R are open-source programming languages. They are easy to learn and implement. Python has built-in mathematical functions, regular expressions, and libraries like Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib, and Seaborn for data analysis. R supports packages such as Plyr, Dplyr, Tidyr, Tidyverse, ggplot, and Lattice for manipulating and visualizing the data. SAS is another preferred programming software for statistical analysis and model building while Java is mainly suitable for writing user-defined methods and object-oriented programming. At number 4, we have the most important skill for any data analyst, which is database and SQL. The database is a storage container where companies store huge volumes of data. Organizations deal with vast volumes of structured and semi-structured data on a daily basis. This data is stored in relational and non-relational databases. In order to retrieve, process, and manipulate the data from such databases, data analysts should use RDBMS and NoSQL databases such as Microsoft SQL Server, MySQL, IBM DB2, MongoDB, and PostgreSQL. They should know how to write SQL queries using commands such as select, insert, update, delete, drop, and truncate. Data analysts must have advanced querying skills like implementing where and having clauses to filter the data, using built-in SQL functions, joining tables, and writing stored procedures to automate complex tasks. Those were all the technical skills that are required to be possessed by a data analyst. Now that you had a look at all the technical skills, you must note that the role of a data analyst is a blend of both technical and non-technical. You need to focus on certain non-technical skills as well to become a full-fledged data analyst. So let's now move on and look at what non-technical skills are required to become a data analyst. If you enjoy watching informative tech videos like this one, consider subscribing to Simply Learn's channel to stay up to date on the trending technologies and hit the bell icon to never miss an update in the future. At number 3, we have problem solving. Data analysts should be prepared to face several barriers on a daily basis. Being able to problem solve a way out of obstructions is an essential skill. There can be multiple issues like budget constraints, short deadlines, and so on. These problems would require you to come up with innovative solutions. Hence, no matter what the circumstances, having strong problem-solving skills will always be a virtue. 
Being a data analyst also requires you to think like an analyst. Analytical skills, also known as logical thinking, refers to breaking down problems logically. Having strong analytical skills will help you arrive at a wise solution in any situation based on information and facts. Complex problems can be solved this way. Critical thinking also goes hand in hand with analytical skills. Critical thinking is a self-guided and self-disciplined way of thinking which attempts to reason in a fair-minded way. As a data analyst, critical thinking will help you stay grounded when you are searching for a solution to a tricky problem. You should also be capable of making well-thought, independent decisions. There are a number of tips that can help you improve your critical thinking skills. Moving on to number two, we have business knowledge. Business knowledge or domain knowledge refers to holding a sound understanding of the domain you are working in. This knowledge is different for different organizations. For example, if you are working in the automobile industry, you might need to understand how systems work and how its output can be potentially influenced. Irrespective of where you work, you need to have good business knowledge and understand what you are analyzing. You should be in a position to understand the various business problems and how to solve them. Only if you have a strong industry knowledge can you try to improve the business. If you keep yourself updated with market trends, you can understand where your company stands and accordingly build a business model. This will also help you assist your business in exploring greener pastures. So now let's have a look at what's at number one. Here we have communication and presentation. This might seem like a very common skill, but it's not as easy as it sounds. Data analysts interact with various teams to ensure proper implementation of business requirements and for this collaboration to run smoothly, communication is very important. The ability to communicate in numerous ways is a key data analyst skill. This includes writing, speaking, presenting and listening. Written communication is crucial. You will be required to write up your analysis and provide regular documentations of it. Data visualization and presentation skills go hand in hand. Presenting your analysis results to various team members and stakeholders holds paramount importance. You might also need to be in a state to explain a complex topic to non-technical teammates. There is no point of a great analysis if you are unable to explain it through your presentation. You can master the presentation skill with regular practice until you are comfortable to explain in front of a bunch of people. Having said that, you should also be very crisp with your presentations. You need to be clear, direct and focus on the result rather than deviating from your topic. Like they say, you need to hit the bullseye. So those were all the top 10 skills required to become a data analyst. Now let's jump into the question and answer session where I'll address a few important questions that our viewers have been asking. This brings us to the end of this video. Do you agree with our list of the top 10 skills to become a data analyst? Think we missed anything important? Do let us know. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.